Alright you guys, welcome back to the channel. So, we are actually on our way to Belle Isle right now to hopefully go ice skating. For those of you who don't know, I actually played hockey for like 12 years. So, I actually haven't skated on a pond since probably 2010. Wow, that's been 10 years. Yikes, that makes 11. me feel old. All winter I've been wanting to get a pond hockey game going or something, but COVID has kind of made that hard. So the other day we saw some kids skating out with their parents in, on the pond right in front of Belle Isle. So we just decided to go and get skates and we're going there and we're just gonna skate. I wanted to bring all these cameras to get all these angles to document it. And then I started getting all stressed out. So we are just going and we're gonna skate. And I'm gonna try to document it as best as I can. So hopefully nobody's in the spot we wanna go to. And yeah, we're almost there. That's gonna be our spot and it looks like there's nobody there, so heck yeah. All right, so we just got here and Andrew said he spots a puddle, which is not a good sign. So we are gonna go check it out for safety. That doesn't, it's not really a puddle. I think we're good to go. This is a nice little spot. This is better than the ice looked like it was the other day. All right, so we got Andrew sweeping, being Zamboni. We messed up. We definitely should have brought a broom. I didn't think about that, but it's actually looking like it's pretty perfect skating ice. All right, so we cleared off a little spot and it's looking like really nice ice. If we had a broom, we would be able to sweep this all off. But we didn't think that far ahead. Like I said, this was kind of spur of the moment since we bought those skates yesterday. But uh, yeah, we're gonna lace up the skates and get out there. All right, so it's been like 10, 15 years, let's see. All right, let's see what you got, Andrew. <laughs> Here, I got you. Oh, dangles. And that's all I really filmed that day. But we were seriously out there for almost five hours. And I can't even begin to tell you how good it felt to be back on skates again. I've been wanting to do something like this for so long. And that's kind of the reason I wanted to make this video. I edited this footage and I wasn't really happy with how it turned out. I didn't really get as much as I'd like, but that's because I was prioritizing actually having fun and being present in the moment versus shooting. I never even took out my real camera to take a picture. I really only shot with my phone and the GoPro. And as a photographer, it's really hard to balance how much I should shoot versus just being present in these moments. But I'm really trying to get better at just documenting what I'm doing without overthinking things and making things too complicated. Photography comes natural to me, but when I'm also doing video, I tend to overthink things, especially the edit. It feels a lot easier 
for me to make one single photo look perfect versus an entire video. And that's why I don't really post as much as I'd like to on this channel. I end up spending way too much time analyzing a million little things trying to make the video perfect and then I end up just giving up on the video altogether. There's no way I can spend as much time as I want to to make these videos perfect with as much as we go out and shoot. I mean, there are seriously so many unfinished videos sitting on these hard drives right now. So I guess me putting this out here is the first step in me trying to break this perfectionism. But it was seriously so much fun to get out there, especially with Andrew. I know it might not have seemed like it in that footage, but Andrew was seriously killing it. He's really only ever skated one time ever in his life, and that was when he was a little kid, so I honestly wasn't expecting him to be very good, but like I said, he shocked me and he picked it up so fast. We had so much fun that we actually ended up spending Valentine's Day on Belle Isle finding a whole nother spot and we skated there all day again. We didn't really film anything this time, but we did actually take some photos with my real camera. And I'm super happy to see that Andrew liked it as much as I did, because hockey was pretty much my life before I picked up a camera. And I'm happy that we went out so many times while we could because it's already starting to kind of warm up so the ice isn't going to be safe to skate on for much longer. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of random video of me having a blast from the past from my childhood. We're going to be heading to the Upper Peninsula in the next couple of days to explore a place that we've never been before, which is going to be the next video, so you guys can stay tuned for that. And hopefully when we get back, temperatures will be a little bit warmer and at least above freezing, so we'll be able to go out car camping soon. So yeah, like I said, that's it for this one. Hit the like button if you actually like this video. It does help push this video out so more people will actually see it. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.